So here we are uh, in front of a bank of nettles and I would like to bring you out into the wild to find some nettles but more often in fact you're going to find nettles alongside people's houses, their compost piles, their barns and I know this to be totally clear and clean so I feel no uh, hesitancy about taking this plant for fear it might be around toxic fertilizers or pesticides or things like that. So um, you can tell the tops of some of these have already been clipped because we've been taking the tops for food and now though we want this to actually give a complete different second growth. Nettles is so prolific but it will go to flower and then seed and then it'll be done. So if we take all of these down it'll just come back up again and we'll have a whole second growth. Nettles, by the way, is Urtica dioica, and it is a superfood, about as good as it gets. So in the process of taking this down, I'm going to take the tops of some a bunch of these and fill up this pot so we can make some nettle soup. This is the perfect time. It's just, just pre-flowering, maximum leaf growth, still soft. The tops of the stems are still succulent. delicious soup. My friend makes this pretty plain, just nettles, a little potato, a couple of spices. It's like drinking liquid chlorophyll. You can feel it just making, going into your body and making you feel better, stronger. I'm wearing gloves. It makes it a little quicker. Nettles sting, as you know, it's called stinging nettles. And, uh, some people don't like it at all. I kind of like it. People use stinging nettles therapy for arthritis, cold, damp arthritis, where rheumatism, where you can kind of predict the weather and say, oh, it's going to be my knees acting up. You take a sprig of nettles and you whack it against your knee and it creates a rash, not a rash, temporary anyway, of... Uh, raised inflammation and it moves the blood and the chi through that area and then it relieves the pain. If you get the sting on you, an antidote to it would be to use something mucilaginous and anti-inflammatory like jewelweed or chickweed or plantain, even aloe, that would be helpful. And like I said, if you were to eat it accidentally raw and start to feel that scratchiness in your throat, than eating something really succulent like chickweed or plantain or even aloe juice would help to relieve that. So I think I have almost enough nettles for a pot of soup. Just gonna grab a little bit more to bulk it up and then I'm gonna clip these way back. It's gonna look merciless, but the nettles will come back, guaranteed. Um, so something about nettles, it's arguably the most nutritious gland plant on the planet. And uh, so for food and nutrition, um, amazing. And that's basically what its medicine is, really medicinal for nourishing the bones, all things musculoskeletal, all things connective tissue, but also the blood, really great builder of blood, builder and restorer of nervous system, the kidneys, food for the kidneys, for good function, for strength, for flagging kidneys. Just about as good as it gets. Anybody who felt run down, emaciated, coming back from sickness or malnutrition. And this isn't the only part of the plant that's medicine. The root and the seed is also medicine. I can talk about that another day.